Okay, here's a great system to be able to make shots. And if you've been poking around YouTube, you probably see some videos that are referring to center to edge or 90 and 90. Well, what they're not really telling you is that both of these systems are, are very close. They're pretty much using the same math. But I'm not going to review any of the math. You really don't need to know that. All you need to know is how to perform the technique of doing these shots. And I know that it's pretty much the best way to do it because I see a lot of the tour pros doing this. And if you don't believe me, just watch on YouTube or the next time you're watching them streaming videos for their tournament matches. And you'll notice that when the pros line up to a shot, you'll always see them queuing up to one side or the other of the cue ball. But then you'll notice that on their last stroke, they always come right back into the middle of the cue ball. You watch them do this, and I promise you, a lot of them do. You just probably didn't know to actually look for it. All right, so what I'm going to do here is show you the, how to hit a shot that is not that steep of a cut. I mean, we're pretty straight in here, but this will go for the five ball to be back here or up here. It doesn't really matter. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm always going to cue up on the side of the cue ball that I'm going to be cutting my object ball. So here I'm trying to cut the object ball, the five, to the right. So I'm going to start off on the right. So you can see I'm going to start off on the right side of the cue, and I'm going to edge of the cue to the right edge of the five ball. Okay? Edge to edge. And on my last stroke, I'm going to come right back in to the middle of the cue. Okay? Right edge of the cue to the right edge of the ten. I'll do this one slow so you can see what I'm doing. My last stroke, coming right back into the middle of the cue ball. See that? So I'm lined up dead perfect. Okay. And for, if I were to do this for a left shot, cut shot to the left, same thing but opposite. I'm cutting the left. Now I'm going to start off on the left side of the cue ball. Left side of the cue ball, left edge to left edge of the 15. See that? My last stroke. Come back into the center, and you can see there, I kind of put a little bit of English on, so your next question is, well, how do I put English if I do that, if I'm coming back in the middle of the queue? Well, when you come back in the middle of the queue, if I were to just hit a little bit left of that, that's my left English. And if I wanted to hit inside English, for example, this shot here in the nine, I'd hit right edge to right edge, and I'm already aimed for English. Just stroke. Isn't that cool that works? You don't need to know exactly all the mathematics to this. It doesn't matter. All you need to know is that it works. Here, let's say oh, everyone struggles with inside English. It's really easy with this. Here I want to hit inside. So I just do left edge of the cue, the left edge of the three, stroke straight through. That's it. No working in deflection. This takes deflection out of it. You don't ever have to worry about deflection ever again. You know, and look, if you're watching this video, you're not on tour, all right? You're probably just looking to win some extra league matches or maybe when you're local tournament, you're looking for more consistency. I promise you this is going to give you that consistency that you didn't have if you didn't know this knowledge before. All right? So for your steeper cuts like this, I'm now going to hit, I'm always going to start off on my right edge of the cue because I'm cutting to the right. If I were set over here, I'd be starting off on the left edge of the cue. All right? But the only difference is for your steeper cuts, I'm going to start off on the, always the same side of the cue, but now I'm going to go to the middle of the two. So instead of going edge to edge here, so I'll lean this straight on so you can see. Instead of going edge to edge, I'm now going to be going right edge of the cue to the middle of the two ball. See that? So I think that technique now is going to be identical. I'm hitting right edge of the cue to the middle of the two. My last stroke, I come right back to the middle of the cue ball. Everybody struggles with this shot to try to see if I need to do an inside English shot. Well, guess what? Right edge to the middle of the seven. I'm not even going to move. Isn't that cool how that works? A little more of a steeper cut. Middle, I'm going to the middle of the eight here. So left edge of the cue to the middle of the eight. Come back out. Works for bank shots too as well. All right. So this is going to be able to make... Almost every shot on the table, if there is a shot that's a really steep cut, just pit, just on your last stroke there, just come out with an inside English to be able to throw the ball a little bit more into the pocket. And I promise you, once you're starting to do this, go around the table, you're going to be making shots a lot more efficiently. You never have to worry about the ghost ball ever again, which in my opinion doesn't work very well. And you're also never going to have to worry about deflection ever again, because this takes care of all that. And you're definitely going to add more consistency to your game.